Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the farm. We were just sitting here watching some uh, YouTube while we enjoyed a little bit of a break, had a little snack. It's coming up. It's getting a little dark out, but we've got harvesting yet to do. So let's get up and get that done here. Walk out the front door and go over to our tractor or combine, which was left over there where we left it off last last time. So we'll just take the, uh, the trusty old Dodge over there. Man, it is actually getting darker sooner than I thought it would be. We can see it's, we're about to come up on sunset. I thought, uh, I thought it was going to be about eight or nine before it got, you know, totally dark. And I mean, it's not totally dark yet, but it's, it's getting, it's getting there. It's actually getting pretty dark out. So this is the 8300, the John Deere 8300. Now, full disclosure... We had the John Deere 8400. It was a different mod. I upgraded to a better version. So this is a different version of the tractor. It's a different mod. So it looks a little bit differently, but this is the one we have in real life, an 8300. So that's why I wanted to do that. So the hours aren't going to match up on this thing, but that it, it's okay. It's, it's the same tractor, just a different mod of the tractor, if that makes sense. So... Ho hopefully that's okay. I, I really wanted the 8300 because that's what we have in real life. But we're going to get up in the... Uh, I can't even read it now. It's so dirty. And the 8820 here. Get it fired up. Lights all on. For uh, Get all the work lights on. There we go. Let's lift up that header. All right. Now it's time to get back to work. Now we're alone today. But we also might, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if we get a call from, from Grant to run on some loads of, uh, of corn in our semi for him. I know he's harvesting corn tonight, and, uh, we, I wouldn't be surprised if we have to go, uh, do some of that, haul some of that in our co-op semi form. We'll, we'll see. We may or may not get a call from him. We, we don't know yet, but uh, we'll find out here shortly. Also, I just want to say, when we're recording, you guys can't hear the other people talking right now because I disable their audio and editing so you can't hear it. Like, here, I'll enable it real quick. Sit down. Okay. Okay. And then, so now uh, you can hear them having a conversation. Now I'll the disable it again. Okay. So that's what I hear when I'm recording. So I'm trying to talk and keep my own thoughts and focus on what I'm doing while listening to their conversation, it gets it gets difficult sometimes. I'm not going to lie. Uh, so if you ever hear me and you notice I kind of I slow down at what I'm saying like that or I, I kind of forget what I'm saying, I go, and I, uh, we're, we're going to get it done. You know, if I do stuff like that, it's because I'm, I get caught up in their conversation and I have to, like, mentally tell myself to ignore it. Just, just thought I'd let you know. We are getting 102 bushels to the acre right through here. Heck yes, that's what I like to see. I also want to say here soon, we're going to be doing daily uploads. We're going to be doing, or we're going to shoot for daily uploads starting here soon for the next month at least, okay? I just want to put that out there. We're going to try to do daily uploads. Now, statistically, my videos perform better view-wise when I upload every other day, but... I want to I want to get you guys as much content as I can. I've been saying that for a while. I got some things in the works. I uh, we're gonna be doing daily uploads now. Live streams on Sunday still. No upload on Sunday. I should clarify. No upload on Sunday. It's a live stream instead. But daily uploads six days of the week, and then a live stream on Sunday is the formula that we're gonna be going for. Try to upload around 3 p.m. every day. That's what I'm gonna be shooting for. I've actually got. Two of my friends from college editing videos for me. I'm paying them to edit videos for me. So I don't make any money on the YouTube channel now. All the money that I'm going to be making off this channel is going to be going to the my friends editing the videos. So that's fine. I thought I see it as an investment. It, it provides me with an opportunity to give you guys daily content. And I don't need the money from this channel. To be to completely honest with you, I have a full-time job. I make good money. Or decent money, not great money, but decent money what I do and where I do it. So the money is not really a big deal to me. I want to give you guys as much content as I possibly can. So I figured, hey, why not, you know, take 
what I make off of YouTube here and invest that back into the channel so I can give you guys even more content. Because with my full-time job, I can't keep up to doing daily videos, but um, having these two guys edit for me... I'm still going to be editing videos as well, by the way. I'm still editing two videos a week myself, so it's not like I'm not going to be doing that at all. But it's just going to allow me to give you guys more content. So hopefully you enjoy it. Hopefully you keep watching it. I'm thinking we're going to bring some new series, some new content to the channel as well with it. So I think it's going to be really exciting here for the next month or so. Now, if it keeps, if it does well, if you guys love it, if you love having more content, if the, if the views and the numbers support it, we're going to keep doing it. But I just want to let you guys know, full disclosure, that's how things are looking here. Every day, videos will be coming out, hopefully. And uh, we'll see how this goes. Hopefully you guys enjoy having daily content. All right, we got the combine full. Now it's to run all the way over to the other side of the field and grab the tractor to unload it. Ah, oh, back at this, running and running and running. I'll tell you what, we could, we could run a marathon after all this running across the field. All right, let's hop up, hop up into the uh, 8300. Fire it up. Now, I love the startup sound. I love the accelerating sound on this engine, on this tractor. I hate the idle sound. It sounds broken. That's my one complaint. And once you get up to highway speed, the sound kind of like goes away it, a little bit. It gets real quiet, real soft. I don't know why. Just some weird things I've noticed about this, but this tractor looks really good. Visually, it's great. Also, like, this accelerating sound is great as well, but... Yeah, look at the interior here. We have a working interior. This is, like, much more detailed, much more clean. I like it. I, I, I do. Uh, I about took that turn, and that would have put us in the middle of nowhere. Let's not do that. So we have a empty cart here. Now, I'm thinking... I'm thinking I might run some loads with the co-op semi. I think that's just going to work better for us. We're going to fill this thing up, though. We're going to get it filled up. We might have my dad come out here and get in the uh, combine and continue harvesting. Then we'll uh, we'll fill this JM up full. And um, meanwhile, we'll run up to the co-op and we'll get the semi hooked up to the... Will uh, I think it's a Wilson we have right now since we ruined and wrecked our... our uh, what was the other one? Load King? Yeah, we kind of wrecked that one. So it's totaled. But we have a, real, a Wilson on rent right now. And uh, that's what we're going to try running, probably. All right, let's just take this turn. Pull right up underneath the auger. We should clear that. Don't think we're going to hit anything. Oh, no, we're good. All right, there we go. Going to get this one all filled up. Man, that 8300 does look really good, though. Look at this thing. It's, it is clean. It's very nice. But there we go. We've got a full load unloaded here. Now we're going to have Dad come out here and run the combine. We're going to run back over to the truck. Got to run again, of course. We could drive the tractor over there, actually. Yeah, let's do that. Let's drive the tractor over to the truck, hop in there, and go up to the co-op and get the uh, semi ready to go. So let me run, let me give Dad a call and get him out here in the combine. All right, so Dad came out. He's hopped up into the combine. He's running it. He said he didn't want to run that thing because it was old and, and sucked, but I, I got him convinced, too. He was like, well, I suppose I'll help you out. We really need to get a better combine. We need to get a new one. But let's hop up in here, run over to the truck parked on the other side of the field, and run up to the co-op. Dad! Dad, you're missing a bit! Oh, come on! What? Ah, uh, of course. Of course he would. Of course he would miss a row. I also think we should put duels on this tractor. We have duels for our one in real life. We have them off right now. But I, I think I want to put duels on this thing, so... We might look into seeing what it'll take to do that. The only problem with duels is we don't, we won't be able to fit into uh, most co-ops when we put them on. So that's why I'm not running them right now. But I do like them, so maybe we'll we'll put some on. But let's shut this thing down. Let's hop into the uh, the truck and get over there to the co-op. Looks like our cows are doing good. Grazing out in the field, are all happy. We still need to get some more loads of cattle in there. We also need to get loads of hay and straw and some other stuff. Oof, we got a lot of work to do there. Ooh, we are speeding. My bad. <laughs> Going 75 down the highway, jeez. You know what? I think this is my first time pulling up to the co-op at almost night. 
it's getting dark. All right, we got the truck all warmed up, ready to go here. We got the Wilson hooked up. Lights all worked. I checked the kingpin and everything. We're good to go. I make sure to check that kingpin now because, uh, well, we know what happened last time I didn't. <laughs> Tipped a trailer on the highway full of wheat. But we are going to get down to our farm and park this thing up there for ourselves. And then if we ever get a call today, I don't know if we will, um... Grant, I saw him earlier, and he told me he might need me. So I guess we'll see. If that happens, I'll have to run up here, unload what I have of soybeans, and then go down and pick up what he's got of corn. But it, I don't know. I don't know if we're going to be needed for that or not. We'll, we'll find out. Just headed down to our place. I thought we'd run by and see how their harvest is going. Looks like they're almost done with this little field here. Actually, yeah. Look at that. They're almost done with this one field here. Nice. All right, we're pulling up to the backside entrance of our farm here. We are going to uh, park this truck up. Whew, almost cleared that. Almost didn't clear that, rather. All right, we're going to park this truck up right down here by the, the tractor. And then we're going to run over and try and see where Dad's at. He's probably full, would be my guess, or he's definitely close to full. So we're going to just park this thing up right here. Lights off, engine off. Since it's going to probably be sitting there for a little while, and we're going to fill this thing up. Oh, nice, that, that comes down. We're going to get this thing filled up for the time being, and then we'll run the semi. We're playing Find the John Deere Combine right now. It's like, where's Waldo? Where's the Combine? Only Dad knows, because I don't know where he's at. All right, Dad pulled up, and he's unloading the, uh, he's unloading the tractor down into the J&M. How full are we? 680 is what we hold, right? So we're probably, let's take a look here. Oh, we're about halfway full or so. All right, we're just watching Dad go along there, but I think I'm going to tell him that it is time to go to bed, and we'll continue this in the morning. So we're going to get all the equipment shut down. We're going to get over in the bed, and we'll continue this early in the morning. Sun has set, or is setting rather, practically has set. It's getting pretty dark out, so it's getting dewy when it gets dark out like this. The moisture goes up, so it's getting too wet to harvest. So we're just going to shut it down and resume in the morning. Side note, when I was just talking there, a bug flew in my mouth. <coughs> Gross. All right, let's walk into the house, wash up, take a shower. Go to bed and we'll wake up in the morning. <sighs> All right, beautiful day. Time to get back to work. But first, as always, we got to get our coffee. We got to go to the bathroom and then we start our day. So let's get our cup of joe, do our morning routine, and we will get to work back in the field. All right, time to go and get to... Ooh, okay, oh, nope, 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 nope. It is cold. It's 35. Uh-uh. Not after summer. I'm, I'm getting a coat. Where's my room? I'm getting a coat. All right, there we go. We have a coat on now. 35 degrees this morning. I am not t-shirting that. If it was actual winter and I was used to like negative 20, then yeah, 35 would actually be really hot out. But not right now after summer. That's pretty dang cold. It's beautiful. Beautiful morning though. Time to get to work. Time to make some money. Let's get over. Let's wake up dad and uh, get the equipment running in the field today. All right, we got Dad going in the combine over there. We're going to fire up the 8300. Oh, she fired, she fired over actually pretty easy. I was expecting it to have a little bit of trouble since it's pretty cool out, but uh, it didn't have any problems. So we'll sit here. Looks like one more load in this, and we're probably going to be pretty much full, and uh, then we'll be going to be focusing on the truck after that. Um, while we... Actually, once this gets full, we might run it up to the co-op and sell this. I think that's what we'll do. Well, looks like Dad is moving along just fine. Whose headlights are these? Oh, oh, well, Austin's here. What? What's up with? I don't know what he wants, but uh, I guess we'll see how he's doing this morning. Hey, Jake. Hey, what's up? What you doing this morning? Uh, just I went to go to the gas station, grab Grant some uh, coffee and donuts, and everyone else there at the farm. I guess Steve's helping us out today, so. Okay. Uh, actually, I brought you a coffee and a donut as well. That is so kind. Thank you. That's awesome. Hey, I'll put, you're welcome. I got a big old thermos, but I'll definitely drink this one as well. 
Yeah, I should have brought a thermos too, but I didn't think of that, so. Yeah, always need a thermos. Man, you're up going up and early in the morning. Oh, cool. yeah. Dad and I getting some work done, you know? Yeah, I, I figured that was your dad over there. He, where's he? he must yep. be over there. Yeah. Looks yep. like he needs unloading, so I'll let you get back to it. Yep. All right, well, I appreciate it, man. Thank you. Yeah. You're welcome. All right, have a good. All also, right. also tell Grant uh, I'll be running truck today intermittently as well if he needs me to run truck uh, from the co-op. So. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll let him know. All righty. Have a good one. All right, you too. Bye. All right, let's hop back up in here. That was nice of him to bring us out some coffee and a donut. We'll have that momentarily, but I've got to unload Dad. He is already full. That thing is so small. We need to get a better combine. We really do. Next season, 100%, we are getting a new combine. I'm done. I'm done with this old clunker, that's for sure. But let's get him unloaded and get him back to going in the field. Try to fill up this front left corner up here more. All right, we're full. He's continuing on. And I'll tell you what, I did a good job filling that up pretty even. Uh, actually, that, that back right corner needs a lot more. But... That'll be a fine. It's even enough. We're going to run this up to the uh, co-op to sell it, though. And then we are going to uh, probably run the truck the rest of the day on our farm here. And uh, we'll see if we get a call from Grant if he uh, will need our assistance as well. But let's hit the road and get this sold. All right, Dad was having some issues. We're trying to get something figured out here. It's, it, it's acting up. I don't know what's up. Oh, hold on. Hello? Hey, Jay. How you doing? Uh, not so bad. How about yourself? Pretty good. We're actually getting rolling with the combines here. And Austin said he met you uh, when he was picking up some donuts or coffee, I think. Yep. Yeah, he came down and gave me a coffee. <laughs> that was nice of him. And then you're trucking all day then, is what he told me, right? Yeah, I'm trucking intermittently. So I'm still trying to get work done on my farm, but I'm, uh, I'm also on schedule to run truck for the co-op. Oh. So. Okay. Could we have you run a couple loads today? Absolutely, yeah. Sure. Okay, uh, honestly, we can probably have you down here in 20 minutes, as soon as 20 minutes, because we'll have a load ready in 20 minutes, that's it. Okay, yeah, definitely. I can I can be down there in, in 20 or so. Okay, that'd be perfect. Now, are you just going to truck? Let's see, i got to figure out what co-op we're going to truck to. Um, what are your guys, your guys always have the highest prices, right? Yep. Okay. Yep. We'll uh, need, yeah, I don't know what our truck. price is right now, but our website will have it up. I, I don't know what we're paying out. Just truck, honestly, just truck back to your co-op then. That'll work good. All right, will do. Okay, I'll see you then. All right, see ya. Well, there's the call. <laughs> so I'm going to have to leave Dad to figuring out what's wrong with that. I might, I think I might still have time to run this load up. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. I'm going to try and run this load up, but we'll figure something out here. All right, so I decided to just leave Dad to it. He's going to operate the whole thing, the combine and our cart. We're going to get over and we're going to because uh, Grant's a paying customer for the co-op, and I'm on the clock right now. So, unfortunately, I'm going to have to focus on that today. But that's, uh, but that's all right. We'll fire up the truck, get it running, and get that over to the his field. I don't know where he's harvesting, so we'll, we'll just run over. All of his fields are near where he lives, so we should be able to find it fairly easy. All right, well, we're rolling up to around Grant's area. Now, I just looked over there. They're not in that field. And they have another field right down there that they might be in. But I'm going to see if they're at the yard. Tractors are there. Lights are on. That's going to... Dead battery coming. Dead battery coming on that uh, tractor there. The 80... 8310 or whatever it is that he's got. Oh, here they are. They're in this field. So where's the best place for me to go here? Turn on our flashers and... Is there a fence line all the way down this thing? There's a fence line the whole way. Hmm. Oh, here's an entrance. Right here. Maybe they're on the CB. Let's try and make this turn. Nice and easy. Are we going to clear that fence over there? Yep. Good to go. All right, where are we going to go from here? I'm going to stop and see if they're on the CB. Y'all on channel 13 here? Yeah. Uh, all right, well, I uh, I found my way to the field. I'm parked up here on the, what's this, south side? Yeah, I'll just uh, head over there and unload into the... Uh... All right, is there a... 
easier way in and out of this field here, or? No, not really. <laughs> okay. If you come down, you're on the south side, right? Yeah. If you come down to that, it would be uh, that east end over there. There's no ditch into the field. The gravel road's a little rough through there, but there's no ditch, so it would be fairly easy into the field. And then I got some, I got some pasture that I just tilled out. That's just, it's just dirt, and it's it's not muddy, and that's probably a good place to unload too. If you want to try that. All right, I'll give I it a look. I didn't think it was gonna be coming that far, but yeah, I guess. You know what? While we're sitting down here, we're gonna get, we're gonna get ourselves in a position where we can pull out of here easier. So we're gonna turn our truck around. Hey fellas, I just, I was just thinking on the northeast side of this field, there's a gravel road All there, right? right? Awesome. All right. Yeah, yeah, it's right up there. Okay. Do you want to pull? Were you thinking about pulling over there? Yeah, that's gonna be a lot easier. So I'm gonna pull on over there. Okay, that'll that'll work good for us too. All right, sounds good. All right, we're pulling up onto the northeast side of this field. This is going to be a lot easier for us. It's also a nice, quick dirt road up right next to our uh, co-op, so this works out great. I think I'm going to pull up right here and just park it right next to these telephone poles. Oh, looks like the crane card's coming. He's facing the wrong way, though. Does he want me to pull forward? Nope. He's just going to go around. That'll work. There we go. Loading up the front bin now. That thing unloads so fast. That's a lot of grain. Boy, this trailer must hold more than I thought. We're already pushing 1,500 bushels. Holy cow. We're practically full, aren't we? All right, Jake. I'm uh, good here. I don't know how much you got left. Oh, no. Never mind. I got 3%. Yeah, just uh, put that in the back hopper here. All right. All right, fellas. Truck is full and rolling out. All right, we're going to run this one up to the co-op. I think it's this way, question mark. Pretty sure it's this way. And it's not too far away. We're actually, the next highway up here is our co-op. So it's probably a mile, two miles, three miles. It's really not that far. So shouldn't take us too long to run loads back and forth from this field. And right after that turn, we turn again on the bridge. And there's the co-op. That's how close it is. It's actually very convenient into the co-op we go and as you can see the new signs down there it tells you where to go now so people don't go in that way hopefully i guess we'll see what happens people probably still go in the wrong way all right pulling in and before we dump this load we're gonna op open up our uh laptop here and mark down how many bushels we've got loading in all right we got that l inputted we're uh unloading our first hopper here then we'll uh switch over to the second one and we'll get back down to the field pretty uh pretty simple and and repetitive job we're running today but not too bad let's get the other one unloaded here all right got the second one opened up it's flowing pretty good elevator's taking it just fine everything's running good nothing's froze up or anything still cool out here it is still only 35 degrees this morning all right close that one up and let's get back down there to Grand's Field and let them know I'm available again. Man, this thing needs washed off, doesn't it? All right. Pull out of the co-op. Almost hit that sign. Holy cow, that's actually kind of a bad place for that sign to be. And looks like the boss's truck is sitting there. I wonder if he's in today. Must be. All right, we're rolling back up here to the farm, or to the field. And uh, we are going to just pull off up here again and wait for... Oh, looks like... Is he here? Is he here for me? Oh, no, he's unloading someone. All right, well, they're still going in the field, but looks like uh, I'm going to end it here. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. Let me know what you want to see in further episodes. Let me know what you want to see in some other series. And until next time, I'll see you all later.